how far is Netflix going to go with Jessica Jones? Uh, so the second of the four TV shows that will eventually lead up to the Defenders collaboration uh, is Jessica Jones. It's the Netflix and Marvel will be making this show. It comes out on November 20th. I believe we'll have all episodes hit and you'll be available to stream. And this is a noticeably darker tale than almost any other Marvel property that had ever come before it, uh, especially with the movies and the TV shows. Uh, if you look at the comic books, I believe that was... I'm trying to remember when Marvel quite put that in there. But when that comic came out, it really did push the boundaries of what is in comic books. I mean, there might have been some other offshoot comic books, but in terms of mainstream, you know, Marvel huge publisher DC. comic books, yeah. yeah, this really pushed the the, the envelope, per se. Uh, there was a lot of adult themes, a lot of darker tones, and if you look at what's happening in that story, you can understand why. So... I'm just wondering how far Netflix will go with this TV show. Now, I have a feeling that Netflix is not going to be the problem. They they don't care. They'll throw everything in there. They, I mean, you saw Marco Polo. You seen a lot of their own shows. They're willing to go pretty far to to keep this yeah, show intact I, I think, and do their vision. Yeah, I think Netflix has made attempts a few times now to just go out of their way to push push the envelope to say, hey, we're a legitimate. Um, alternative to hbo is i think what they really want to say mm -hmm. is like we sure. do the the nitty-gritty we'll throw on violence sex uh, controversial things whatever we want mm -hmm. they, they, they're willing to do that so i don't think they're gonna have a problem i think they're gonna want to do that probably more than anything else yeah but there's one th obstacle standing in the way and that's marvel because if you look at what marvel's doing and they've been very very consistent with this is they say they have a vision for the overall Marvel MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe. They want to keep a similar tone throughout a lot of their movies and their properties. And if you watch Daredevil, this does definitely take place during the, in the MCU. They, they had a couple times they mentioned, you know, uh, about people destroying the city and the events of Avengers 1 happening and different things like that. So is Marvel going to let them go all the way with this? Because Marvel would be the only block that I see, you know, the Disney Marvel collaboration there saying, mm -hmm. Hey guys, uh, this is a little bit too adult for what we want. This is, you know, might push some of our viewers, you know, away. And I, now I don't personally think that it would push any viewers away, but I can understand that maybe a parent gets a hold of Jessica Jones and sees all the risqueness and says, Oh no, this is what the Marvel universe is about. I can't let my kid watch it which if you just base it off of one out of the 19 different properties that have come out of this, that's kind of crazy, but I could see it happening. Now, with Jessica Jones, the story that's going to be told, and this is what Netflix has said is going to be told, it's going to be about a little bit about her time with the Purple Man and the ramifications afterwards. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, if you don't know who the Purple Man is, this is a guy who can... Uh, if you're in proximity to him, he can influence the way you think, the way you feel. He, he can pretty much control you if you're within a certain proximity of him. And at some point, Jessica Jones was actually a costume superhero. She was responding to a call, I believe at a bar or something like that, and breaks up a fight or something, and Purple Man's sitting in the corner, and he looks at her and he's like, hey, I kinda wanna have her under my control. And he takes her, and the rest of the superhero community pretty much doesn't notice that she's gone. And he has her under control for months, maybe years, I'm not exactly sure mm. about the amount of time. And he makes her do and think some pretty rough things. Like there are some some stories where uh, he's talking about he would go and he would like lure other girls to his room and he would have sex with them and he would make Jessica Jones sit there and watch. And it's not only that she would watch and she wasn't allowed to participate, but he would influence her mind to make her really want to participate. And so it's one of these things that really messes with her mind after she's out from under his influence that she's like well during that time i really wanted to and it hurt me almost that i couldn't and now it's just like just her mind was so violated by the purple man that it, it, it's she's really overcoming these ramifications now that's one part that can get risky and then there's the other part which is again netflix has said is going to be included is her relationship with luke cage uh, in the comics, they got a lot of fire for showing some pretty in-depth sex scenes in these comics. And uh, how is that going to translate with Netflix? Who knows? I mean, because mm -hmm. they have said that, yes, Luke Cage will be involved in this. Yes, he will be a love interest. And it will kind of help build for the Luke Cage series, then the Iron Fist series, and then the, the Defender series. So 
No, this has, is going to set a darker tone for everything from here on out. Has Marvel said definitively whether the the Netflix shows that they're allowing and other any other properties that are going to be on on TV are necessarily part of the uh, MCU canon or just yeah related? I, I, if I remember correctly, I've even heard you know rumors here and there. That you know the defenders will meet up before the Infinity War starts, and we might see a couple of them actually pop up in the Infinity War. Hmm. Uh, so it might not even be the the biggest leap between these TV shows and crossing over to maybe a movie. One or two of these characters crossing over to a movie. So that's you know it. I, I haven't heard any confirmation on that, but I have heard the rumors here and there. So yeah, they are supposed to be part of the overall overarching universe somehow. Whether the characters really meet up or not. Uh, who's uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but they are they like I said in Daredevil they do talk specifically about what the events of Avengers one and so I imagine some of that's going to continue with this Jessica Jones hmm. TV show. Um, and so I mean when I when I look at it and I read everything, my opinion is actually no Netflix won't take it crazy crazy far, but they are going to maybe make it a little darker than the rest of the, the their their material. Uh, I'm looking at somewhere between like a light R rating, so maybe plenty of violence, uh, lots of uh, implied sexual themes, but probably not showing it as much as they did in like a show like Marco Polo or something like that, where they really just said, here you go, have fun. Um, and so I- I'm just curious to see what, we w- what we'll see. I hope that they don't go far enough, you know, cutting stuff out that it hurts the overall story. But, uh, I mean, I would understand if they didn't want to go all the way. And we've seen things. Like, I was watching The Bastard Executioner. I told you that was too gory. That was one of the goriest things I've ever seen, just period. And it was on TV, on FX. So the the, the envelope has been uh, moved, per se. So you can push it around, uh, and it's not always in the same place. So I'm, I'm just – I am excited to see it. It comes out on November 20th. I would definitely probably binge watch every episode, you know. Yeah, at least like you know four episode segments, and then Brian what will I probably give Daredevil. you a review, so you uh, will know yeah. too. Uh, I can guarantee the review unless a meteor hits my house right now. Right okay, now, I'm still so here. So, so if I the meteor the hits me- tomorrow, you're still getting the review. I, okay, everyone st- hear that? <laughs> didn't hit right now, so you are still getting that review, no matter what. It's coming your way. Well, let us know what you think. Do you think Netflix will go all the way with the Jessica Jones show or you think Marvel will kind of hold them back a little bit? Hit us up. Let us know what you think. Comments down below, of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways of getting a hold of us. We're like-